Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Edu Care. Today I have brought an interesting session on Python login module. So with this login module, you can log the output messages either in the console or as a log file. The benefit of using this login module is like you can log various levels of messages, say debug message, info message, warning, critical, or error messages. So that is very, very, very uh, useful actually while you are writing complex programs so that you can expose the error messages, so error critical messages. So whenever any issues are there, so you can go to those critical or error messages and then look into those and fix it. So basically uh, with this uh, script, I will show you like how you can do that. So let us uh, uh, start. So first of all, you need to log in a module, import a module called login. So this is an inbuilt module, so you don't have to install it separately. So then import login.handlers and then import sys socket. So these are the uh, login levels actually there. So not set is zero, then debug 10, uh, info value 20, warning 30, error 40 and critical is 50. So these are the various uh, levels of uh, output messages or login messages. So first of all, using socket uh, module, we'll get the host name, host name will get it, like get the system host name and then login.getLogger set level. So what is the level we are going to set? Login.notSet. That means like this is zero. So we'll be ignoring all the messages below this uh, level actually. So if you put, since it is not set, that means like we'll be capturing all the message, output messages. But if you were to put info warning, right? Suppose like if you were to put login.warning, then it will ignore, this script will ignore these messages, like any messages with not set, debug or info or level it will ignore those messages okay next is like we have a variable called console uh, login.streamhandlers is std out that means like we will be writing the outputs to a console okay then now, now the format like how you want to format so formatter variable equal to login.formatter so name so this is nothing but like we'll have the first name so here like we'll get the host name here then the ascii time and then level what level it is whether it is info critical warning that level and then the message okay so now we have the time format like so this is the ski time now like we will be capturing the time format in this uh, format actually year month day then hour minute seconds okay so we'll just uh, the next statement i have just uh, commented out this is like i will show it in the next like how to uh, do for the log file okay we'll skip that and next see like console console.set formatter equal to formatter now login.getLogger add handler console and then log equal to login.getLogger hostname. So we'll be getting the hostname here. Now I've just created a variable called y equal to Python. So then like we have a uh, log.debug messages, debug info. This is the message. This is the level of the logger. Then log.info. So I have a percentile s. So this is the like I'm adding this variable y red Python uh, before this test execution started. And then uh, we'll have a warning, log dot warning, warning message. So just uh, for percentile s, so that like uh, simply we can see like how to, how to add a variable to a message also. So this is how like you can add a variable to the message. Then we have a log dot error, error message, log dot critical, critical message. So also like we have another message called exception. For example, if you see like I have a, a variable like a simple sum like a equal to five, b equal to zero. Now like a try, I put a try accept statement. So try C equal to A by B. So C equal to A by B. So five divided by zero. So this is an invalid statement actually. So print C. So this is how I'm going to print C. Uh, if the statement is valid, accept exception as E. So for that, what we can do is like, we can either put a logger error, log dot error. This will say exception. So what exception? It will just show an exception. And then if I put yes, underscore info equal to true. So if you put true, right? We'll get this particular statement like why it is false the reason behind it why it is uh, error or else like to if you don't want to put error out there is you can just put log dot exception so this will also do the same work log dot exception you can remove this statement so if you remove this this will also do the same work like it will give you the entire idea so now like uh, the script is ready so like we will uh, just run the script and see the output messages so if you see here, it ran 
23 20, 2353 and you can see like we have a debug message then we have python test execution started then warning message python then error message critical message then exception so exception happened and it is showing the reason why this exception is happening now like since i put error right like like say put error i put then if i run this script what it will happen is like see it is throwing the message error as exception alone nothing else so it is not giving me the detailed why it is exception happened so in the real time scenario when the complex when you are running with complex code and you are just getting this exception right so you can get it like why and how the error where is the error and how to fix it so instead what you can do is like either you can put a exc info equal to true this will let it run the script and it will show the description like i just it will show the reason why it is failed okay and now so hope uh, till this it is uh, clear and uh, let me move to the next like how to uh, set the output how to log the output to the log file so for that what i'm gonna do is like i don't need this console and formatter i will remove i will comment this formatter i will just uncomment this then i will comment this console part also i don't need this because this is for printing the output to the console now simply like what i'm doing is like logging dot basic config file name so where i'm going to save the what is the file name of the of the log file so log file dot log file mode that is i'm going to write w then the format how what format i'm going to do so that's name there's a host name here then uh, sk time level name and the message it's simple as uh, what we did earlier so now uh, just let me run the script and uh, let us see so this time like we are not expecting any output here instead we are expecting the output as a text file so it's 2354 let me run the script so it should be 2355 okay now see if you see like we don't have any output output here so let me go to the file so if you see like we have a log file here if you see like we have a log file here and this log file says 2355 and it says that information debug info or debug info then info and warning error critical exception and it's exception reason is showing this is how you can log the outputs to a log file hope this uh, video will be a useful one for you and if you have liked this video please press like button and for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching